2018 Senior Awards. Tonight we'd like to welcome our seniors, our parents, family members, and all the presenters. 12 days of school left. Well, 11 for the seniors, right? Fire up, right? You're ready to go, okay? Tonight, many of them and their parents are here to recognize all their achievements that they've done this year and in the past, and tonight they're going to be rewarded for all the things that they have done at this point in time and for all their work. Tonight, when we have the presenters come up, we'll have them come up to my right and leave to my left, if that would work for you. Uh, Mr. Seip will be our, our new, he's our new guidance counselor. He'll be coming up after me. You'll notice, you'll notice him. You'll notice the difference. He's about six, seven inches taller than I am. All right. Uh, he'll be the MC. He'll be calling up the uh, presenters tonight. And uh, so you don't have to remember. Uh, you just need to remember your name. Okay. <laughs> Our first award, though, tonight, when we have our seniors, uh, our Sentinel Senior Scholars come, they're going to have to take a picture. And what we'd like to do, just as a, uh, as a reminder, after you're called up and you get your, your award, we're going to take a picture down off the stage real quick, and then you'll come back up. All right, so once you come up and received your award, go, back, go down off the stage. We'll set up in an area uh, down, down off the stage, and then we'll go from there. So without any further ado, I will introduce... Our guidance counselor, Mr. Denny Seid. Just a little bit here. Good evening. Shelby Lopez will be presenting the Rochester Sentinel Scholars. So when your name is called seniors, please come up here. Our first person is Evelyn Byram. Jordan Campbell. Kate Cow. Ryan Doan. Ollie Hoff. Anna Hoover. Kendra Pugh. Jada Schaefer. Bailey Schultz. And Carrie Smith. UK Star Award is Sarah Bird. Good evening. I'm Sarah Bird, and it is an honor and privilege to be here this evening on behalf of Indiana University Kokomo. Um, 
to present some scholarships to some awesome Cass and Hyslop students. So um, the first student I have is Megan Penley. She is receiving a $500 ACP scholarship. Um, next up is Brandon Kinzer. He's also receiving a $500 ACP scholarship. And then we have uh, Jordan Campbell. They're also receiving an ACP $500 scholarship. Ms. Bailey Schultz. And she's also receiving a $500 ACP scholarship. And then this last student is receiving a STAR scholarship. This is a $1,500 renewable scholarship for a total of $6,000. And then this person is also receiving a $500 ACP scholarship, and that is Carrie Smith. And I just want to say congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients, and welcome to the IU family. Thank you. Becky Mahoney will be presenting the Rochester Offensive Club Scholarship. Good evening, folks. I'm Becky Mahoney, I'm president of the Rochester Optimist Club. I want to thank this community and this school for the uh, the participation that y'all have had with our club in coming to help with the pumpkin project. We raise uh, an enormous amount of pumpkins every year, sell about $20,000 worth. This year we're giving nine scholarships in the county, and tonight one of yours is here. Um, the scholarship is $1,000. There's no stipulation on how it is used. Um, it is for the furtherment of education. Um, and we would like to honor Ms. Bailey Schultz. The Logan Sport Memorial Hospital Foundation Scholarship will be presented by Caitlin Scheidler. And on behalf of the Logan Sport Memorial Hospital Foundation, it is an honor to present the Community Education Scholarship to an outstanding student pursuing a career in the healthcare field. It is our hope upon completion of their education, the student will return to our rural community to pursue a career. We would like to take, thank the community members who, through their generosity, make it possible to provide scholarships to local seniors. This year, we are honored to award a $1,500 Community Education Scholarship. Congratulations, Ryan Dunn. Ryan plans to attend Purdue University to study nursing with an ambition of medical school. Good luck, Ryan, with your endeavors. The Faye Riddleberger Scholarship will be presented by Deb Rivard. It is my honor tonight to represent the Faye Riddleberger Scholarship Trust Fund. Mrs. Riddleberger owned Faye's Beauty Salon in Logansport for over 50 years. Since her shop was located near the old high school, she often talked with many students about their plans for the future, especially their plans for college. Prior to her death in 1995, she established the Scholarship Trust to help students with their financial needs in college. Each year, 15 scholarships are awarded in Cass County to students graduating from the four county high schools and students currently attending Ivy Tech and Indiana University Kokomo. The scholarship committee examines the applicant's academic performance, 
civic responsibility, church attendance and participation, and financial need. In its first 21 years of existence, the Riddleberger Scholarship Trust has awarded 317 scholarships totaling $633,000. This year the scholarship is $1,000. I am pleased to announce that the Caston High School recipient of the Faye Riddleberg Scholarship for 2018 is Ryan Doan. Jane Williams will present the Tri Kappa Jan Hollyball Book Award. On behalf of the Alpha Mu chapter, Tri Kappa Sorority, it gives me great pleasure to award our annual Jan Hollyball uh, Book Award in the amount of $250. The Dan Hollaball Award is presented to an outstanding senior from one of the four area high schools. This award is in honor of one of our Tri Kappa members, Jan, who has served 50 years promoting charity, culture, and education in our community. That's a long time. Tonight's recipient was chosen by our scholarship committee after reviewing their high school academic records, extra extracurricular activities, honors, leadership roles, essay, work, voluntary experiences, just everything. It's with great honor I present this year's Tri Kappa Jan Hollabaugh Book Award to Tate Cowell. Jim Bauer will be presenting the Logan Square Kiwanis Club, John I. Schaefer Junior Memorial Scholarship, and Purdue Alumni Club of Cass County Scholarship. <laughs> this year, the Logan Sport Noon Kiwanis Club is awarding four $1,500 scholarships to outstanding students residing in Cass County. I'm pleased to be here this evening to present one of these scholars to, scholarships to a student at CAST. The John I. Jr. Scholarship was awarded in honor of a longtime member who passed away in 2016 <laughs> at the age of 106 and was the 1979 president of the Logan Sport and Kiwanis Club. John received a bachelor's degree from Dartmouth and PhD from Cornell in botany and related research. He loved to travel, read, tell stories, took over his father's hardwood business, uh, which is now coal hardwood, in the 50s, and also owned and managed timberland in Tennessee. John was very active in the Kiwanis well into his 90s, including placing flags for our holiday flag project, which uh, raises funds for many of our scholarships. For 2018, the winner of the John I. Schaefer Jr. Scholarship is Kendra Pugh. I'm also honored to be here tonight representing the 229 members of the Purdue Alumni Club of Cass County who have generously donated to make scholarships to the four county high schools possible. Our goal is to award $4,000 scholarships, one to each of the four county high schools each year. This year, we were able to award seven such scholarships. Since our club was started in the fall of 99, we have awarded a total of 97 scholarships, totaling $84,200. Uh, and this is the 18th scholarship to be awarded at Caston. I am pleased to award this year's Caston scholarship for $1,000 to Ryan Doe. Thanks to Major in Nursing at Purdue, and we're glad Ryan's going to be a Boilermaker. The Richard W. Cassidy Jr. Memorial Scholarship will be presented with John Michael Price. Good evening. 
Richard Cassidy Jr. served as president of Security Federal Savings Bank for 20 years prior to his untimely passing in June of 2003. Mr. Cassidy was committed to our community. He was involved in developing and mentoring those around him. He influenced many individuals by sharing his knowledge of diverse subjects ranging from music, art, and law, to cooking, bird watching, and pen collecting. Security Federal established a scholarship in appreciation of his contributions and to honor his memory. This year, we're pleased to present the Cassidy Scholarship to Casson Sr. F1 Brighton. Our next presenter has uh, several scholarships to give, uh, so I'm just going to name the scholarships that are being given and uh, let them take that. So, uh, Barry McLean will resign the Cass County Republican Women's Scholarship, the William and Valerie M. Frushauer Scholarship, the Gangloff Industries Scholarship, the Marjorie Kime Medical Scholarship, Sanderson Scholarship, Laura Shanks Scholarship, Lily. Endowment Community Scholarship finalist. On behalf of the Cass County Republican Women's Club, it's my pleasure to present the following scholarship award. The Cass County Republican Women's Club provides four $500 scholarships to students attending an Indiana college. The selection is based on answers to essays about who is your favorite political figure and why? What issues face the state of Indiana? And what political activities you participate in, along with other criteria? This year's Gaston High School recipient of a $500 award is Ryan Doan. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the following scholarship award, the William A. and Valerie M. Freshar Scholarship. In 2004, William Freshar, a farmer, and his wife Valerie, a homemaker, established a fund to award scholarships to Caston High School student graduates pursuing an education in an agricultural related field and to Logansport High School graduates pursuing an education in nursing. Applicants must be involved in their community and have a 2.0 or higher GPA. This year's Caston High School recipient of a $5,000 award is Tate Powell. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the Gangloff Industries Scholarship. This fund was established by Gangloff Industries to provide scholarships to top music students from Caston Lewis Cass, Logansport, North Miami, and Pioneer High Schools in the amount of $1,000 per recipient. Recipients must be attending an Indiana college or university. Gangloff Industries has been presenting scholarships for 20 consecutive years. This year's Caston High School recipient of the Gangloff Industries Music Scholarship is Sarah Donaldson. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the following scholarship award, the Marjorie Kime Medical Scholarship. This fund was established as a bequest of Mrs. Kime's estate. A resident of the Caston area, Marjorie was born on her family's farm near 12 Mile. She worked as a nurse's aide at Memorial Hospital and always wished to return to school to become a registered nurse. She took over Kimes Nursery, a family business, after her father passed away and was never able to return to college. The recipient must show <coughs> kindness and compassion for others, have an aptitude for intended course of study, and entering into a nursing training program or medical school preparation program with the intent of becoming a medical doctor. 
This award is $15,000, payable over four years at $3,750 per year. This year's three recipients are Brian Doan, Holly Hoff, and Kendra Pugh. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the Sanderson Scholarship. This fund was established in 2006 by Mary Sanderson in a bequest as part of her estate. Mrs. Sanderson was a strong believer in the value of higher education. This scholarship is awarded to qualified students who are Cass County residents and who are attending Purdue University. The Caston High School student receiving a $5,000 award is Tate Cowell. <laughs> On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the Horace Shanks Scholarship. This fund was established in 2003 by the late Meredith Jean Shanks in memory of her husband, Oris Shanks. The recipient must be in at least the highest 50% of their graduating class and be involved in school, church, or 4-H activities and or hold a part-time job. The Caston High School student receiving this $2,000 award is Bailey Schultz. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship Finalist. Through the generosity of Lilly Endowment Incorporated and the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship Program, the Cass County Community Foundation awards one Lilly Scholarship each year. The award is based on academic ability, achievements, activities, and citizenships. Applicants are required to have a GPA of 3.5 or higher with an ACT score of 24 or higher or an SAT score of at least 1100. This year, 29 applications were received, each worthy of careful consideration by the Cass County Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship Committee. From this large number of applications, the committee selected seven finalists for the one available Lilly Scholarship and then chose one recipient from the seven finalists. In recognition of their outstanding achievements, one Caston High School student was named a 2018 Lilly finalist. Receiving a $5,000 scholarship is Ryan Doe. Community State Bank Academic Leadership Award will be presented by Mindy Douglas and Abby Earl. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it is our privilege to present the following scholarship award. Community State Bank Academic Leadership Award. The scholarship was set up by Community State Bank in 2013 to assist students graduating from Pioneer, Caston, and Lewis Cass High Schools to further their education and to encourage students to pursue academic achievement. The scholarship will be distributed after successful completion of the first semester in good standing. The Caston High School recipient of $4,000, payable as $1,000 per year for four years, is Brandon Kinder. organization that was formed to maintain the 12 mile post office. We put excess funds back into the community. This year we are awarding two 1,000 scholarships. Those students are Nicole Howe and Jacob Taylor.
The FOP Logansport Lodge 71 scholarship will be presented by Kathy Collins. Right after that, she will present the Fisher Funeral Chapel Blue Star Service Bible. right up here since I was here last I've changed uniform colors I've retired from the Lucasport Police Department and now work for the Fulton County Sheriff's Department so um, on behalf of the Fraternal Order of Police and uh, Logansport Lodge number 71 we would like to uh, present a $500 scholarship to um, Arian Burns years uh, we have our Fisher Funeral Chapel I'm sorry I'm looking for um, have presented Blue Star service flag to each passing graduate entering the military following um, graduation we do so in honor of Marvin Grice the 1967 graduate of South Caston High School some of you may not even know that ever existed um, and uh, Marvin happens to work at Fisher Funeral Home as a funeral director and he's been there for over 44 years he was also a veteran of the United States Army served during the uh, Vietnam era, and Marvin's work ethic and service to our country are a reflection of the education he received at Caston. And we know that the students we honor here today will make us equally proud. The Blue Star flag was created in 1917 during World War I. To hang in the front window of homes to denote a family member was serving in our armed forces. A banner with a gold star indicated that a family member had died in service to our country, the ultimate sacrifice. The Blue Star tradition continues today. Tonight, I am proud to present two flags to two Caston seniors so that their families can display the pride that they have for your service to our country. A wish and a prayer accompany these flags. The star on this flag has been placed with care and made for you with a wish and a prayer. May your journey be safe as life unfolds while this star of hope, I'm sorry, shines bright and bold. Flag. I want to call the following seniors to the front to be recognized. That would be Zach Conrad, who is apparently enlisted in the United States Army. Is that correct? Okay. And also Sarah Donaldson, who has enlisted in the Army National Guard. Zach and Sarah, you have our undying gratitude. Our prayers for safety wherever your journey takes you and the pride of our entire casting community in your service. Lynn Korniak will be announcing the Cass County Memorial 4 H Scholarship. Good evening. On behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it's my privilege to present the 4-H Memorial Scholarship. This endowment was established by Elizabeth McKegg family to recognize and remember 4-H members, parents, leaders, and friends of the 4-H who are no longer with us, but wish to support and promote 4-H ideals with financial assistance to 4-Hers for educational pursuits. The scholarship was based on years in 4-H, their 4-H project club work, leadership activities, and their community service. I am pleased to present two of these awards tonight here at Caston. There are $500 scholarships, goes to two of our outstanding 4-H members here in Cass County. They're also 4-H junior leaders. The first one goes to Ryan Doan. The second one goes to Tate Cow. <laughs> the Rathel Stevens Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Jan Lair. On 
behalf of the Cass County Community Foundation, it is my privilege to present the following scholarship award, Rethel Stevens Memorial Scholarship. This fund was established in 2014 by Deb Stevens in memory of our mother, Rethel Stevens. Rethel was a graduate and valedictorian of Rawls Center High School in 1953. She retired from the U.S. Postal Service where she was the postmaster of the Lucerne Post Office for 32 years. This year's recipient of the $500 award is Evelyn Byron. Grass Creek Lions Club Scholarship will be presented by Lisa Young and Dave Summers. Good evening and uh, welcome. It's great to uh, be here. A lot of fun to be able to pass out money, especially when it's not my own or Lisa's. Uh, tonight we would like to recognize one senior, we had several applicants. Uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, grade or activity requirement to it. It was, uh, we did put a lot of effort in the uh, or, uh, attention to the essay that they placed. And this year we had several good ones. It was a tough vote. But one thing I think that kind of put this senior over the top was the fact that she made a statement in her essay, she says, what really makes it great is to be able to get it would be because my dad was the first recipient of the Grass Creek Lions Club Scholarship. So with that, Sydney Berry for $500. The Victoria L. Coffee Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Samantha Coffee Chamberlain. Well done, good and faithful servant. Matthew 25, 23. Our mother, Vicki Coffee, was just that, a good and faithful servant of the Lord. She held steadfast in her trials and tribulations, all while continuing, continuing her work for him. It takes a strong mind, body, and soul to take on life's deepest valleys, but she's persevered through it all with the Lord by her side. Mom served God by serving others. Whether she was cooking in the kitchen, teaching children at church, or caring for others, she always had a smile to give, a word of encouragement, or a helping hand. I know that Mama would be honored to see how much her life has helped shape that so many others. With this scholarship, her legacy will live on and help prepare you to do great things for Christ. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men. Colossians 3.23 The Victoria L. Coffin Memorial Scholarship was established in 2016 to honor Vicki Coffin, a private home health care provider. She enjoyed living and working on the farm alongside her husband, George. Vicki was an active member of the Fulton United Methodist Church. This scholarship supports graduating seniors of Caston High School who are pursuing a degree in the field of education, Christian ministry, or the medical fields. I'm pleased to award the Victoria L. Coffin Memorial Scholarship to Kendra Pugh. Kent Burton will be presenting the Dorothy A. Goss Memorial Scholarship. The Dorothy Goss Scholarship was established in 2016 in honor of Dorothy Goss, a lifelong educator, 1955 graduate of Cassin High School. 1955 was a time when many young women didn't have the opportunities that they do today. Uh, women weren't typically folks that went to college, and uh, the principal at that time, even though she was the salutatorian of her class, didn't think it was a wise use of my great-grandfather's money to send his daughter to college. Through a little bit of resourcefulness and the fact that the secretary maintained the principal's signature on file, uh, she got her transcript signed, submitted to the university where she was accepted, and graduated with a bachelor's degree in education. Just to prove a point, she went on and got a, a master's degree from the University of Illinois, and then went and got a PhD from Cornell. 
She taught family consumer science education at Illinois, University of Minnesota, and finally retired from Oklahoma State University after many years of teaching young college students and furthering on what she thought she was going to miss out on, the opportunity to education. It's my privilege to present the 2018 North Diego Goss Scholarship to Tate Cowell. Pastor Knievel here will present the Deidre Strumit Memorial Scholarship. The Deidre Memorial Scholarship was established to honor Deidre Strumit. She worked for many years in the emergency room of Memorial Hospital in Williamsburg, Indiana. After work, she served uh, as an unofficial community nurse. People in the Fulton area and beyond would call her before or after they called the doctor for advice. After return, retiring from Memorial Hospital, she was a compassionate caregiver at Miller's Mary Manor in Williamsport. This scholarship supports graduating seniors of Gaston High School who are pursuing youth nursing, music, or caregiving. I am pleased to award the Deidre Truby Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Tate Powell. following scholarship. The cast of high school scholarship, the Stephen Ruth Teese, did I say that right? Memorial Scholarship, the Tice, Colleen May Memorial Scholarship, the Harold E. Neva Funk Iskill Scholarship, Mice, okay, all right. Rochester Kiwanis Club Scholarship. In 2005, the Cast and Dollars for Scholars Committee disbanded and transferred the funds they had raised to the Fulton County Community Foundation. With this change, it will allow this fund to continue forever to support students of Cast and High School. And thank you to the donors who have helped support this scholarship and make this a fund that will continue to benefit the students of Cast and High School forever. This year, there are four recipients of the Cast and High School Scholarship. They are Evelyn Byram, Kate Cowell, Kendra Pugh, and Bailey Schultz. Memorial Scholarship was established, established with the Fulton County Community Foundation to benefit students of Cast and School Corporation who desired to further their academic career and demonstrate financial need. In 1999, Stephen Matice, son of Bruce and Sarah, died tragically in an ATV accident. Steve was an upbeat and happy kid. His peers described him as someone always ready with a smile, a hug, a joke in his pocket, Steve was a typical teenager who loved having fun and participating in sports. While he was only able to attend CAST in a few short months, his transition to the school was made much easier because of the friendliness and welcoming of the student body. Sarah Bruce created this scholarship to give back to the students of CAST in high school and to say thank you for your continued love and support. This year, the recipient of the Stephen Bruce Matisse Scholarship is Bailey Schultz. Colleen May Memorial Scholarship was established in honor of Colleen May, a lifelong resident of Fulton County, a graduate of Kiwana High School. She loved children and chose a career in education. Colleen touched many lives during her 40 years of teaching second grade at Caston Elementary School. This scholarship supports seniors 
graduating from Caston High School who are pursuing a degree in the field of elementary education. This year, the recipient of the Colleen May Memorial Scholarship is Ashlyn Klein. The Neva Funk Michael Scholarship was established to celebrate the donor's dedication to education and to benefit the students of Abenabi, Union, Wayne, Liberty, and Rochester Townships. This scholarship is renewable for four years. Neva loved being an educator and taught in the area for over 41 years. She and her husband Harold cared for the land that he farmed and the students that meant so much to them. This year, there's two recipients of the Harold E. Neva and Funk Michael Scholarship from Caston High School. Representing Liberty Township is Ashlyn Klein, and representing Wayne Township is Bailey Schultz. I'm going to put on my other hat and present the Caston the Rochester Kiwanis Club scholarships. These scholarships are made possible through the fundraising efforts of our club. Um, thank you to everyone who has eaten at our chicken noodle dinner in the spring or our turkey dinner in the fall. Um, those fundraisers make these scholarships possible. These scholarships are selected based on the values of that are represented by Kiwanis Club members. One of our main goals is to help support students and young people in our community. And part of the way that we do that is through scholarships. So this year, there are two recipients from Caston High School for the Rochester Kiwanis Club Scholarship. The first is Ryan Doan, and the second is Bailey Schultz. USW Local 4863 Scholarship will be presented by Patrick and Ladina Burns. <coughs> On behalf of the United Store Workers Union <coughs> Local 4863, I'd like to present, it's my honor, my privileged to present this scholarship award for $500 to Arian Burns. Ellen King will be presenting the Indiana State University Networks Financial Institute Scholarship. I was given an honor for this evening as well as being asked to present this when the folks from Indiana State could, could not be here. Many times as a coach or a teacher you get to write lots of reference letters but uh, you don't always get to be a part of the other end after the references and, and the students' hard work comes true. This year, 19 outstanding high school seniors have been selected to become part of the Network's Professional Development Program in the Scott College of Business at Indiana State University. This program was created due to generous support from the, e from the Lilly Endowment of Central Indiana, which formed the Networks Financial Institute in 2003. The Networks program is intended to develop future business leaders by offering opportunities such as corporate mentoring, paid internships, domestic and international travel, attendance at professional conferences as well as career professional and leadership development through hands-on learning and personalized coaching recipients were selected on academic performance high school and community involvement leadership potential and their desire to pursue a career in business and financial services they receive a four-year 
full in-state tuition scholarship from Indiana State. In addition, students are awarded $3,000 professional, professional development account that can be utilized for opportunities such as studying abroad, attending professional conferences, and paid travel to interviews. Students are also awarded a laptop computer or an iPad through the ISU Laptop iPad Award. The total value of this scholarship will be over $40,000 over four years. At this time, I would like to recognize Jada Schaefer for receiving the Network Scholarship along with an invitation to participate in the Network's Professional Development Program. Fulton County REMC Scholarship will be presented by Angie Miller. As a director for the Fulton County REMC, I am very proud to present Caston High School senior Ashlyn Klein with the Fulton County REMC Scholarship. Delta Kappa Gamma Gamma Mu Book Award will be presented by Lucinda Douglas. Good evening. Delta Kappa Gamma is a women's sorority of educators, and each year we present a student who is going to pursue the field of education uh, from Cass or from, from White County, from those area schools, with a book award. And I'm pleased tonight to present this award to Ashlyn Klein. Ashlyn was actually uh, attended a meeting of ours a couple Saturdays ago and received a check and it was my job to award her her certificate tonight and Ashlyn I'm still trying to chase down that certificate so <laughs> we will get that to you but we're very pleased uh, that Ashlyn can receive this award and very pleased to see our young people pursuing the field of education. Fulton County Pork Producer Scholarship and the Fulton County 4-H Livestock Sales Scholarship will be presented by Jennifer Lucas. It is my privilege tonight on behalf of Fulton County Pork Producers to award Ashlyn Klein a $500 scholarship. Ashlyn is also receiving our Livestock Auction Committee scholarship as well. She has exhibited great leadership to the youth of Fulton County in the swine industry, and we appreciate it greatly. The 2018 MSM Brady Comeback Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Blake Molenko. Back on April 19th, uh, Brandon Kinzer was honored by Methodist Sports Medicine as the Indiana High School and College Comeback Athlete of the Year. He was one of three chosen. Uh, Brandon was awarded this $1,500 scholarship. Tonight, we'd like to honor him with a, with a uh, certificate. Mr. Evans has two uh, presentations tonight for scholarships, the Ryan J. Umethal Memorial Scholarship and the President's Voluntary Service Award. Jason Hurd normally gives the uh, Ryan Humenthal Memorial Scholarship and uh, I feel again honored to be able to present this in his place. It goes to a senior football player in honor of Ryan J. Humenthal. $500 scholarship goes to Brandon Kinzer.
I want to recognize two of our students who have been honored for their exemplary volunteer service with the President's Volunteer Service Award. They have already received a letter from Mr. Trump. The award, which recognizes Americans of all ages who have volunteered significant amounts of their time to serve their communities and their country, was granted by the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards Program. And that's Bailey Schultz and Evelyn Byron. Evelyn's remaining up here because she was one of the state finalists, uh, one of 12, I believe, out of 11,000 that were uh, that, that had submitted some uh, information regarding their volunteer work. And Evelyn has done a tremendous job throughout her career. I remember my first year here when she was coming to me and asking to do some things, or and she said, "Well, I've already been doing them." So it's it was very difficult. Uh, you know, to say, well, let's change it. So she, uh, she does a great job in doing some of those kind of things. And so she's being honored by the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards, sponsored by the Prudential Financial in partnership with the National Association of Secondary School Principals. And in quotes, the recipient of this award demonstrates that young people across America are making remarkable contributions to the health and vitality of their communities. By recognizing these students and placing a spotlight on their volunteer activities, we hope to motivate others to consider how they can also contribute to their community. Evelyn Byron. scholarship that I wanted to present. This student is already aware of this scholarship, but uh, this year 500 uh, NHS national semifinalists were chosen, and, and one of our national semifinalists was Bailey Schultz, and she'll receive a $2,850 scholarship from the Secondary School Principals Association for her work in National Honor Society. Congratulations. On behalf of some of the presenters, I'm going to present uh, the rest of these awards here. So just uh, bear with me, I'm doing double duty here, all right? <laughs> the Woodlawn Memorial Auxiliary Scholarship is presented to Bailey Schultz. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Scholarship is presented to Brian Doan. The Growing Next Generation Legacy, just a, a couple things about this here. Uh, the Legacy um, at, at Graham's Higher Education Awards are offered to eligible dependent children of Legacy at Graham employees. The awards are uh, offered to encourage students of good scholastic accomplishments to continue their education in the institution of higher beyond high school or senior secondary school. This award is $1,600 and we award to all eligible students who apply and have obtained a 3.5 cumulative GPA on a 4.0 scale. And the winner's award is Ashen Klein. This uh, next person can probably stay up here. I have uh, several here at the top here. So um, this person has won, um, has been honored, the Jeannie Haas Foundation Scholarship, the Century Career uh, Honor Society, uh, the Century Career Center Outstanding Student in Precision Machine Trades, and that is Kate Cal. Nicole Houck, 
has won Purdue Supplemental Scholarship. Sorry, I just have to double do you pray that. Okay. Nicole has won the American Red Cross Scholarship. Kate Cow has won the Purdue Supplemental Scholarship. <laughs> the Pharaoh's Tribune Youth to Watch is Evelyn Bynum. The IUPUI Valley Torrance Slash Student Scholarship has been awarded to Kendra Pugh. <laughs> Next, I'm going to award these seniors that have been awarded the academic honors and technical honors. Kennedy Yaw, Academic Honors. Erin Burns, Academic Honors. Evelyn Byron, Academic Honors. Jordan Campbell, Academic Honors. Kate Cow, Academic and Technical Honors. Ryan Doan, Academic Honors. Sarah Donaldson, Academic Honors. Holly Hall, Academic Honors. Brandon Kinzer, Academic Honors. Megan Penley, Academic Honors. Kendra Pugh, Academic Honors. Jada Schaefer, Academic Honors.
Bailey Schultz, Academic Honors. Carrie Smith, Academic Honors. Elizabeth Sutton, Academic Honors. Jacob Taylor, Academic Honors. Miranda Thornton, Academic Honors. And Brianna Young, Academic Honors. Now we have some department awards from our departments here, so the Agriculture Department, please. The, excuse me, the Agriculture Award to the Outstanding Senior. Uh, this individual has been an outstanding leader for us this year. You can see he's obviously been a leader in the school and he's been recognized several times tonight. Mr. Tate Cowell. Mrs. Hoff will be representing the business department. I'm here. <laughs> uh, just very quickly, I, I have two or three things to say. Being the old lady in the group, I get a few extra privileges. Number one, I get to name uh, the outstanding senior business do? student. And I get to mention two other people just because I'm up here. But first of all, I want to recognize Evelyn Byron as the outstanding all-around business student. Bless her heart, she has been with me in every class but one. She got to have, she got to have an award for that. <laughs> and then I want to recognize Sydney Berry for outstanding marketing. She's been in all the marketing classes and the accounting, and she's outstanding. She is so creative, and that's what she wants to go into, and I'm so proud of her. I leave I have another senior that I would like to recognize from accounting and that is Elizabeth Sutton who has completed the entire first year course the dual credit class for Vincent's and she has completed the first semester of advanced accounting very proud of her. representing the uh, English department Melinda Schultz department but we had two deserving students for our award so I'm going to announce them both and have them stand up here. Uh, it's Kendra Pugh and Bailey Schultz. So, Kendra has taken ACP speech, ACP writing, and ACP literature. She excelled in speech class uh, her sophomore year. At the beginning of this year she struggled a little bit in ACP writing but she is probably the most improved student of the year. And then Bailey excelled in ACP speech, writing, literature, and film lit. She won the HNAC contest twice, 
and this year was the only senior to place in the top 10, and she did that in two different categories. But together, these girls have been yearbook editors for three years in a row, and so they've been kind of my personal heroes. Uh, they work together incredibly, put out yearbooks without much guidance from me, and so for all these reasons, we are both the English department winners this year. And Mrs. Miller was not feeling well today, so she printed out her script for me to present the Spanish Award. This year's recipient of the Spanish Award has consistently been an outstanding Spanish student over the past four years. She has worked very hard, used her time wisely, and achieved high grades every year. This year, in Spanish 4, she has not only continued to demonstrate excellent work ethic, but she has helped keep me on my toes as well, which I appreciate. She has been a spectacular Spanish student, and I'll definitely miss her and her fun and creative iMovie projects. This year's Spanish award goes to Bailey Schultz. Representing the math department, Ms. Wyszkowski. Mrs. Bennett couldn't be here tonight, so she wrote something out for me to present this award. The person receiving the math award this year is a student who was not originally on track to take the most advanced math classes the school has to offer. However, he showed promise in his freshman year and has only progressed since then. In his sophomore year, he worked hard and doubled up on his math classes so that he would have the opportunity to take AP Calculus. Now as a senior, this student is in the most advanced math class and earning top scores. He worked hard all year long and went above and beyond expectations. This year's Senior Math Award goes to Tate Cowell. And Tate, she wanted me to remind you that you have the AP Calculus test tomorrow. And you might be late going to the Career Center because it might take a long time. I'm also doing the music award for the, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Byrne. Sarah Donaldson excelled as a performer in both band and choir throughout high school. She's been an accomplished soloist at concerts and contests. Her leadership and talent have contributed greatly to the music department. We are honored to be able to award Sarah with the Outstanding Music Department Award. Mr. Helmick is representing the Physical Education Department. PE award. It's for the weights class. Uh, the award is going to someone that um, at the beginning of the year I couldn't get them to say two words. Now I can't get them to stop talking. They uh, have improved every time we've done a test out and has um, been to class probably more than most of them in my class. So that eliminates one of them over there. Uh, I've messed the name up all year so I'll mess it up one more time. Jalen Luthane. Our representative science department is Eric Lynn. Uh, this year from the science department, we had a few seniors I probably could have picked from, but uh, Decided to go with uh, Kendra Pupness. <laughs> Rep. 
representing the Social Studies Department, Vincent Huffman. Good evening, everyone. I think this is the smallest crowd I've ever seen today. It's like Locus. I think it brought you out here tonight. <laughs> anyway, you have to look at my ugly mug, they get my best side. Anyway, uh, we had a rough time in the social studies department uh, because we have so many people that do really well. Uh, it must be their teachers or something. But anyway, um, our winner tonight is Kinder Pew. The Visual Arts Department is represented by Joe Bachover. This year's Outstanding Artist absolutely hates being recognized for her outstanding ability, so I decided to give her an award in front of everybody. Uh, she goes by the nickname of Poppy. Uh, not sure exactly where that came from, but it works for her. Uh, she has a outstanding ability to conceptualize her ideas and put them in paper and I don't think she realizes how rare her ability is. So with this award, I also hopes that you will continue to push yourself and become a better artist. Who is it? This time I'm going to recognize the National uh, Honor Society members. You can just stand up when I call your name. You will be getting your co cords at the graduation practice at that point in time. So just to honor our uh, National Honor Society, just so, uh, and it's Evelyn Byron, Jordan Campbell, Tate Cowell, Ryan Doan, Holly Hoff, Anna Hoover, Brandon Kinzer, Ashlyn Klein, Megan Pendley, Kendra Pugh, Jada Schaefer, Bailey Schultz, Carrie Smith, Elizabeth Sutton, Miranda Thornton, and Brianna Young, our NHS members. Okay, uh, it's my honor now to um, honor these seniors uh, with their athletic accomplishments over the past four years. Um, I'd like to also congratulate each and every one of them on their scholarships tonight. Uh, that's, that's a wonderful thing for them. First of all, we're going to honor our four-year award winners. These uh, individuals received a varsity letter for four consecutive years in a single sport. First off, Casey Alt, football. <laughs> Kennedy Alt, volleyball. Sydney Berry, cross country and track. <laughs> Evelyn Byram, cross country. <laughs> Ryan Doan, soccer. <laughs> Brady Hartman, football. Brady was unable to be here tonight. Nicole Houck, softball. <laughs> Ashlyn Klein, basketball. <laughs> Sabrina Nice, cross country. <laughs> Kendra Pugh, girls golf. Bailey Schultz, softball. Colton Welker, football. And Brianna Young, cross country and track.
each year we look at each class and we induct a Hall of Fame. You can be inducted in the Hall of Fame two ways. Receive nine letters, remain academically eligible, receive a majority vote of the Athletic Council, and remain in good citizenship. Or you could have excelled in the sport, receiving a majority vote of the Athletic Council. This year I'm proud to announce that we have four members that will be inducted into our Hall of Fame. First, for receiving nine letters and staying academically eligible, we have Brady Hartman, who wasn't able to be here tonight. Our second uh, one is Brandon Kinzer. Also receiving nine letters, Brianna Young. And finally, our fourth one for his accomplishments in the sport of football, Casey Hall. Next, my honor and privilege, uh, each year the Hoosier North Athletic Conference recognizes one young man and one young woman from each school as a sportsmanship honoree. That means they have displayed sportsmanship over multiple sports throughout the athletic competition within the conference. This year, I'm proud to announce the female athlete representing Caston is Brianna Young. And our male, out, male athlete sportsmanship award was given to Tate Cow. Our last awards are voted on, uh, nominated by our coaches, and then voted upon by the Athletic Council. Um, they are female male senior athletes of the year. Uh, first off, our female athlete for her contributions in volleyball and softball is Bailey Schultz. Our male athlete for his contributions in football, basketball, and baseball is Brandon Kinzer. Once again, I'd like to congratulate all the award winners on not only their athletic awards, but your scholarships. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. We, uh, in closing, can we give a, a nice round of applause for the for our seniors here at all these awards? Also, thank you, community partners, for just uh, volunteering and helping and just doing everything to provide some some dreams and some possibilities. We appreciate that. And seniors, don't forget thank yous uh, for all this uh, uh, all this hard work that you've done and all these people invest in your life. Um, so as again, as we're in closing, if you want to take pictures, that's free. There's also some snacks. We appreciate it very much, and this concludes our program. Thank you.